healed at night. And that's also our regeneration time. You know, people who go without sleep, like there are people who are just insufferable insomniacs. Like they never, never, never sleep. And I just do not know how they could possibly function on a day-to-day basis. Because even for that short time, for the eight months that I was like that, it it was like a curtain was drawn. And I could not think straight at all. It was scary. It made me scared because I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I? Mm, 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 mm. It just doesn't make sense, you know, but it was because of a lack of sleep. And there's just no n- nothing that you can do to substitute that. There's nothing. You have to sleep. We have to sleep. We're humans. We're animals. You know, we 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 work out our stresses and our dreams. We communicate with our own self, our in eternal internal being when we sleep you know so it's the closest thing to meditation there is other than meditation because that's what i was gonna talk about so let's talk about not being able to sleep because there are people that can't sleep um be, a lot of it is stress and anxiety from their jobs. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, through coaching, I have found that. And I teach them how to meditate, and that helps. Oh, yeah. And Yeah, my routine, kid, he tries to meditate, and he just goes to sleep. That's fine, <laughs> you know? though. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Another really good thing is, and this is especially for children, but if it works for them, why wouldn't it work for adults? Develop a bedtime routine. Mm-hmm. Have a nice bath, a cup of decaffeinated tea, um, a glass of wine. Whatever works for you, whatever soothes you. It's a, it's a thing. It's you. It's self soothing, self care mm-hmm. that puts you into a good relaxed state to fall asleep and stay asleep. And darkness. And darkness. You really have to have I can't darkness. sleep if it's... Uh, we have a light outside that comes on. It's a motion sensor light. Mm-hmm. And sometimes there's a rabbit or something that runs underneath it. You know, even though I'm asleep when that light comes on, it, it'll wake me up. Yeah. And, and the other thing about light is that it has to do with your serotonin levels. Right. So when the sun goes down and... Oh. This always kills me in the wintertime. Because the sun will go down at like five o'clock. Oh, I get sleepy <laughs> early. I'm getting really tired. She's, she's yawning right now as we speak. But it's like it it triggers that serotonin yes. to come in and just start making you tired. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, it's seven o'clock and I'm ready for right. bed. And right. My kids are like, well, we're up till we're we're gonna stay up till midnight tonight, mom. I'm like, okay, more power to you. Because <laughs> they're me. they're adult kids, so they can do what the, that if they want. But I'm just saying it's like it's weird to me. <sighs> do you find that you sleep more in the winter? Mm, no. I do. I like Mm -hmm. hibernate. I've always been like that. Mm -hmm. I sleep later in the morning. I can't because I have to be up and out. And plus the kids' school and everything. I always have to be up and out for the kids, you know, get them up and get them off to school. So, Um, I know I just said my kids are adults, but my youngest, I still have to, like, force him to go to school sometimes. We won't talk about that. Um... But yeah, I just, I, I think I am just so set even on the weekends. Like I'm up by six, like today, today I didn't have to be anywhere because today's my day off right. ish that you only work a little bit. Yeah. I, yeah, I probably, you know, I'm only seeing like half the amount I normally would see. But anyways, um, I woke up at six fifteen. Actually, I probably woke up at like 5.45 and then tried to sleep till 6.15. And then I was awake. So I was like, ah, I'll just get up. Um, but, you know, I went to bed last night at probably 10. Mm. So I got my seven and a half, mm-hmm. eight hours of sleep. Plenty. Do you get up to go to the bathroom during the night? I don't usually. I might now. I might start setting an alarm just to do it. But huh. usually, like, right when I wake up, I need to go. 
So, and, and I do sometimes, but I don't consistently. And I um, am, I have trouble falling asleep sometimes. And meditation really, really helps me. Yeah, yeah. But if I really, for example, when we do live events of some type, and I keep running it through my mind, I do this, I do that, I have to do this, I have to do that. I'll just get up and right. write it down and everything. And, and that so makes that it I'll safe, remember. right? And we've talked about different techniques. And that makes I it can, safe right. so you can like, okay, I won't forget it by tomorrow. I can leave it go. I promise I'll come back to that worry tomorrow, you know? And yeah, it's because it doesn't do any good. In fact, it makes it worse. Sleep deprivation is horrible. Right. So my mother had sleep deprivation. Oh. She was, uh, she watched too much TV was the problem. She And she saw all those shows about how people rob you when you're in um, assisted care of any type. Oh, no. And so she was like so she on had guard. To, so she oh. was, um, in order to have this massive dose of antibiotics, she had to be in a care unit. She couldn't be at her house or either one of ours. And she didn't sleep the whole time she was in there. Wow. And everybody kept saying that she was, uh, her doctor, my sister, everybody kept saying that she was um, losing it. You know, that they thought she was dying. And I said, I'm telling you, she's just sleepy. I, she didn't sleep the whole time she was in How there. How many days? Um, probably four. <gasps> and so she had this uh, giant hallucination with all of us dragged into it. It was huge. It was, we catered my niece's wedding. And this she, was the hallucination? Yes. Okay. And and my mom owned a catering company, but she was bossing us all around to do all these jobs. And and so we just played along. Oh, you mean you were in her hospital room? And yeah. She's when telling after you, she went back to the hospital. You go get the cake and bring that out. Exactly. And you need to be When are you going to decorate? What are you wearing to the wedding? Oh. Those kind of things. And, um, Really, and I, she said, what are you going to do with that hair? Because you know how usually I have curly hair, part of it. And and I, I looked at her and I said, seriously, Mom. You know, I thought to myself, seriously, here you are. Everybody thinks you're dying. You're asking me what I'm, what I'm going to do with my hair. And I said, well, I brought my straight iron, Mom. Go get it. <laughs> I had to show her that I had the damn thing because she wanted me to look good for Kate's wedding. Isn't that a riot? It is. That's that's really funny. So she lived out this whole thing, and it fi- when she finally first fell asleep, she was like baking and reaching for stuff, and just it, we were exhausted. She wore us all out. You know, when I was a kid, I used to. Uh, I still do it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but like, I remember going to sleep with my phone in my bed. Like back then, we didn't have. Hand, it it know, was a regular. Phone. It was a regular phone, and I would like be on the phone to my friend and i would fall asleep huh you know and then i'd I had a boyfriend that used to do hang that. up or whatever and fall asleep if they called me and i was asleep i would talk the craziest gibberish that's how my son errol was like, what do you want <laughs> 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 going crazy so and it, then i'd hear about it the next day you what? were so mean to me last night no I'm i like, wasn't i, I was sleeping So finally, she fell asleep hard Mm -hmm. and slept for like a whole day and a half. And I and I kept walking out because my you know everybody kept visiting her. She was in the palliative wing, and when she woke up, she was fine. Well, yeah, because she needed sleep. Right, Right. I get babies every so often that like have been crying for months, like literally nonstop, but maybe five minutes. Oh, crying for months. And I get them in, and, and I will adjust them. And then I hear from their mom. The next time they come, they're like, oh, my gosh. It's a totally uh, different baby. But she went home, and she slept 17 hours. Oh, my God. See, there. that's how I was with my mom. I had to co- yeah. keep going in, make sure she make was sure breathing. Make sure she's alive. <laughs> and, and, I, I, <laughs> and I would want you to. Yeah, right. and, and if you have a baby that happens, I want you to check them. But... But no, that's perfectly normal. Yeah. And so now I will tell people, I will warn them. I'll say, if your baby has not slept in months, she's going to sleep. Uh, and she's going to sleep for like 24 hours. And you're going to wonder 
what's so what's take wrong. advantage take of advantage it. Take advantage of it. Yeah, my phone's getting ready to die. I'm sorry, everybody. But if you want to see the end of the show, we will post it on Spreaker.com. It'll also keep running on W4Divas.com, and we can actually put the link on Passionate Pundits Perfect. for the rest of it. See you all next time. Thank you. So, um, you know, if you go to the doctor for, I want to keep this sleep thing going because I think it's so important. If you go to the doctor, a regular MD, Mm -hmm. and you tell them that you cannot sleep, they're going to give you a medication. Right. And so that's chemicals in your body, which both of us do not like. I say try everything first. And there are so many things you can try. Aromatherapy is a beautiful thing. It is. And uh, when, uh, in fact, now I will actually put some lavender on my neck Mm -hmm. if I can't sleep. And if you cozy down in your blankie and you smell lavender, you're going to go to sleep. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. I had like a lavender spray for my pillow, Uh like a pillow spray right super good stuff nice and and there's so many things that that routine is so important you know when you have a bath you can put a couple drops of an essential oil in your bath or have a candle or something in there aromatherapy relaxes and soothes you that's really important massage right massage is so important um and you can self-massage yes you don't have to go pay for it you can self-massage every evening one of my Really good friends, Marilyn, she does that all the time. She promotes it all the time because it helps her tremendously to be able to relax. And plus, in the parts that you can reach, like your hands and your feet, there's nothing like a a foot massage. I think everybody will agree with that. And you can massage your own feet and do it with a nice lotion. Put socks on and you're killing two birds with one stone because you're getting that soothing massage plus Mm -hmm. your feet will be softer when you wake up yeah i can't wear socks at night though well you can take them off during the night if you just have them on while the lotion is oh i'll take them off i'll be kicking at them there'll be no (laughs) socks on by morning i they will be buried and then when you change your sheets they might even be on patrick's feet you never know i'm like i'm pretty wiry (laughs) (laughs) and he wakes up with socks on I'm so I want to do the, it. I'm going to do the, the, those sound effects again. These are your socks going onto Patrick's feet. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I wish y'all could have seen it. It was amazing. <laughs> so funny, but yeah, I do. I kick and I kick and I kick and sometimes I even need my feet out from under the covers. I I like putting a leg out. I have had people come in. This is really interesting. And I've had this more than than I can count on both hands. It hurts for sheets to touch their feet. Yeah. Is it because of neuropathy? Yeah. Some Uh people it's neuropathy. But some people it's like it's too heavy to be on their feet Hmm. at night. So we work on their feet because obviously there's something wrong with the sensitivity issue of their feet, right. their nerves. Sometimes it's coming from the back, but sometimes it's the feet. Interesting. So there are so many things that we can do to help ourselves sleep, but you need that sleep. You know, and do like some shoulder rolls and a few little neck things and just to, just to relax yourself. And deep breathing is so good for you and such yes. a good tool to use. Right now I'm working on some uh, videos. I'm going to do some YouTube videos uh, to help train people how to sleep correctly. Nice. And, and what to do to help themselves sleep better. And and uh, We'll put a link on, your, on the Passionate Pundit Show to those. Very good. Very yes. good. Yeah. My husband says he's not going to film them until I have a script written. Like, he's not going to let me wing it at all. So, apparently, we're going to have to be pretty professional here. So, hopefully, we'll do Good that. Good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, what was your topic? Did we get to your topic? It was actually sleep. Look. Nuh-uh. It was shush. insomnia. I feel like you're lying no, to I'm me. Not. Oh, you never lie to me, page. though. That's really weird. Is that true? Yeah, but I lost my page. Oh. It's on irritable ball now. It bowels. <laughs> There it is, insomnia. I must have changed it. Okay. That's weird. Did you really? You were yeah, talking going to talk look. about insomnia? Oh, it's so strange. You know, and here's the thing. 
don't mask your symptoms. Find out what's going on in your body. That's right. That's so important that you take a good look of what's going on. Maybe you're drinking caffeine too late. 